Hey y'all, happy, what's today? Happy Thursday? Anyway, that's not important. So it's early in the morning, 7.15 here, Central Standard Time. And I wanted to, I was, I felt moved this morning to um, make this video, right? Because I know I made a post yesterday and it had me thinking a little bit more about it this morning. So, um, Yesterday I made a post regards how um, I was trained to not argue with people, right? Um, a few of you may know I was raised as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And being that was the case for me, I had to constantly, on a consistent basis for years, um, I was constantly in contact with people who I did not know and that I was presenting a concept or message for people that I had no idea who these people were. And so I was met with people who obviously were on the defense, right? Because, you know, I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses and people hate Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> um, and so I had to learn to differentiate when people are wanting to argue just for the sake of being able to prove who's right, who's wrong, that sort of thing. And the difference between that and understanding are people really wanting to have discussions to um, further expound on both perspectives or to be open to a new concept that is being presented to them and move accordingly based on what I'm able to discern of those of the situation, right? So the reason why I brought that up is because when it comes to social media, there are so many different con people's beliefs and thought processes that is being flooded um, and concentrated on social media with all of these different people, with all of these different, you know, ways of perceiving whatever, right? Excuse me. So that really prepared me, I guess you could say, when it comes to where I'm at in this point in my life, because aside from just being where my life path is, is going, um, I mean, just on, on social media, like I, I do not argue with people. I let people feel how they feel. I read it and then I just go on about my business. Sometimes I may engage, um, but most of the time I'm just like, all right. You got it. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to focus on even more so was because with that post that I made the other day, it was regards how I see things on a deeper level when it comes to a lot of things regards um, just, I mean, different aspects. I've studied like so thoroughly and densely since I was a teen um, when it comes to so many various you know, teachings and um, systems and things like that, aside from being raised by, you know, so many variety of different people with so many different belief systems, and um, be it, you know, from, you know, different religions to even spiritism, right? Spiritual practices. So I'm at a place where I'm very settled um, and I'm not, bitter or angry regards those things because I, I know that they helped me to um, they, 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 it, they molded me to where I am now so I don't have any reason to be upset and because I understand many of those things um, underneath were regards me getting to know myself as you know the saying a lot of people like to, to quote know thyself there's nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to keep trying to debunk. I simply focus on the aspects of the things, the principles that did um, stick with me, that helped to keep me grounded. And I leave the rest, like the other saying, you know, eat the bones and spit out, eat the meat, spit out the bones, right? And so this is a part of why I felt moved to start, <clears throat> excuse me, start the services that I have when it comes to um, helping people to get more spiritually grounded is because 
um, I see, you know, when it comes to when people discuss a lot of things regards what they were brought up to believe, it's from a place of, oh, you lied to me. And essentially, when we feel like somebody lied to us, we feel hurt by that, right? We feel betrayed. And so those are triggers, right? Those are triggers to show you what you have not, you've not fully dealt with and made peace with so that you can fully move forward in your spiritual journey. And so all of it is necessary because triggers are lessons, right? Whatever it is that triggers you, you know, you have to sit with it. Well, I mean, that's the most effective way, right? You could, you know, still try to attack, you know, what it is and this is how you lied and how this was a lie or whatever. Or you could focus on the fact that, okay, well, now I know the truth. And I understand that that is no longer, that that does not resonate with my purpose and my purpose moving forward. So there's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to um, try to debunk. I mean, because who's listening, right? People who actually need to hear it or people who are just going to be like, yeah, that's right. They lied to us. <laughs> right? So... And I think that even applies to, because I mean, when you think about when it comes to you, your rootedness and your centeredness, if you're not, if you've not made peace with the things that found, that you were founded on, that when you came into this world, these, that was the foundation you were given. That was the roots, your, your own roots in this lifetime, be it the spiritual and religious aspects, or even with your parents. Like if you've not fully made peace with what is when it comes to them, be it, you know, understanding and forgiving them for not being perfect because they didn't have a manual to specifically know how to be the perfect parent for you. Or, you know, everybody's situation is different with their parents. Some people, they simply need to learn how to be more intentional about setting boundaries um, or being more verbal and assertive, I should say, when it comes to you know, addressing whatever those situations were that they need to make amends with with their parents. And for some people, that calls for you actually having to sever ties in order to really move forward without more um, turmoil. It is what it is, right? And I mean, that applies to even parents. You know, some parents have to sever ties with their children because they realize, okay, I've done my, I've done what I was here to do for them. They're here. They're an adult now. And so, they're free to move on in, um, in the world as they, as they wish, and that's possibly without me, right? <clears throat> so um, that's, that's essentially what my, my focus is, and that's a part of why I don't argue with people because that's not a part of my purpose. I'm not here to argue and focus on those things because that's not even a place of really being genuine, in my opinion. Um, and, of course, you know, I mean, like I said, there are aspects where people... Um, they genuinely want to um, share with the purpose of helping people to progress. Um, but again, that calls for discernment, the power of discernment. <clears throat> and being able to discern, you know, where, what the energy underneath, the spirit underneath what's being said is coming from, right? So that's pretty much it. Um, I, don't, I won't make this video too much longer. I probably, I was thinking about doing a Facebook Live, but when y'all pop in or whatever, sometimes I get distracted. So I figured I would just go ahead and make the video. Um, and I may still do a Facebook Live later on today. I don't know. But that's essentially what I wanted to, um, to say. When it comes to, are you really... Have you really made peace with those things? Are you really spiritually rooted and grounded? Have you... Um, or are you still really operating from a place of hurt and betrayal? Because a lot of times people, when they separate themselves from whatever their, um, you know, religion that they were raised in or, you know, whatever, whatever type of belief systems that they were tied to, they, um, they don't always realize that just because you know more, it's not meaning that you have made peace with those aspects. You have not healed, as a lot of people like to say, 
from those things. And so that's what's holding you back. No matter how much you know, you're still going back to what hurt you, who lied to you, right? So making peace with those things will help you to focus on what's important. And that's what is moving forward and being able to say, okay, well, I don't need to spend the rest of my life trying to debunk and trying to do all those things. And of course, you know, everybody is at different places on their race, their, 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 um, in their life as far as unpacking and making peace with things so that they can move forward, right? So <clears throat> that's understandable. And so I guess you could say I'm not really talking to those people because if that's where you're at, you probably won't even necessarily um, get where I'm coming from with this video. So that's okay. And, you know, like I said, that's okay. Like, that's, like, I'm not mad at that. And that's how you have to get to a point of being when it comes to whatever things that you feel like you were betrayed when it comes to what you were raised to believe and to follow. Um, yeah, you have to get to a point where it's like, yeah, that's what it was. And there are certain things that I can take from it. But when it comes to the things that, you know, were not necessarily meant for my well-being, but it was not, you know, something that my parents were aware of or those who helped raise me were not conscious of you made peace with it and so that's a part of why i don't argue with people because i understand that they just haven't gotten to that point and when you're good and ready and when your spirit is and your soul is ready to move forward and to not be so um <clears throat> fixated on harping on those things um you move different you know, you don't have to focus so much on what was wrong and who hurt you. You focus on, um, and it's not to say that you don't have to, you, you don't bring up those things anymore or anything like that, but it's the energy behind it. Like, first off, what's your, what's your agenda? Like, what is your point? Like, what are your intentions on what you're saying, right? And also underneath what it is you're actually saying is it from a place of somebody betrayed you and you haven't fully made peace with it because you're still bringing it up it's kind of like a relationship yeah it's like a relationship a bad relationship a dysfunctional relationship where you've not fully made peace and forgiven that person so you know you have this thing where you just keep bringing up those times where they lied to you you told me this, and that was a lie, you know? Or, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I won't make this video as long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. I hope y'all have a great day, and I hope that you make peace with your past and realize that in this lifetime, whatever you needed to experience up to this point, good or bad, it all served a purpose in you getting deeper to understanding yourself and your own purpose in this lifetime. And be okay with where the fact that you're where you're supposed to be right now. And that's that. So, all right, y'all have a good one.